Margaret Thatcher, Woodrow Wilson, Joseph Stalin, and Adolf Hitler operated, of course, within very different contexts. What all four have in common, however, is that success and power went to their heads. Each, in his or her own way, came to think that they were infallible, and they, or their unfortunate people, were punished for it. Of course, leadership is a fashionable subject. It's the sort of thing that business schools are teaching. And look, when you have Oprah Winfrey on television teaching leadership, and clearly there's something stirring in the air. But when you get right down to it, can you really teach people to be leaders? You've got to have the innate talent. You've got to have the ability. And in my view, you've got to have the luck and you've got to have the good timing. If history is, as I believe, a feast, the savor comes from its people. Our understanding and enjoyment of the past would be impoverished without its individuals, even though we know that, of course, history's currents, its underlying forces and shifts, whether of technology or political structures or social values, must never be ignored. When I started to compile a list of those characters in history who possessed to an exceptional degree the quality of curiosity, I was intrigued to notice that most of the names I came up with were women. This, I suspect, is not because women are naturally more curious than men, but because so often it has been more difficult for them to follow their own paths. When we try to pick out the characteristics that risk takers share, we almost invariably find curiosity about what lies over the horizon, for example, and the determination to find out. Sheer endurance helps too.